this is my top five horror movies that I have seen in 2024. Please uh, stick around after my top five to uh, hear my honourable mentions. Okay, number five is A Desert, directed by Joshua Erkman. He's a uh, directorial debut. This uh, debuted at uh, Tribeca um, Film Festival uh, in uh, in June, and it's about a man who um, is a he's a photographer, and he uh, travels uh, um, to the to the desert and um, to take some photos uh, for his uh, job, and uh, he stays in this uh, um, very cheap motel in the middle of nowhere and um, his uh, neighbors next door to his room are some um, weird druggy um, couple and he uh, they they um, he eventually makes friends friends with them and then he gets involved with them and, and drinks with them and takes drugs with them and and uh, he gets into trouble with them and then uh, the film um, um, has a big shift halfway through so that's about all I'll say about the movie it's best best to go into the movie cold without knowing anything but just know that it's about a man who um, stays at a motel and and uh, gets into some trouble that's all you need to know because the the, bit, the more the less you know about the film um, before going in uh, the, the more you enjoy it so I definitely recommend uh, checking out um, uh, Desert number four is Long Legs I'm sure everybody's already uh, either heard about this movie or, or, or they've already seen it, but uh, uh, this is a very creepy, uh, um, atmospheric, uh, slow-burning uh, uh, crime story horror um, starring uh, Meg Monroe and uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh, uh, Mike Monroe plays a FBI agent who's uh, um, t- talks with uh, tracking down sort of a serial killer played by Nicolas Cage. Um, Nicolas Cage, he um, plays very psychotic, strange character um, who uh, manages to infiltrate and get inside uh, the houses of families and gets the father to kill um, his entire family. And then the movie um, slowly gives you details as the film goes on and, and uh, the, perform- the two central performances are fantastic. Um, the, for me, the story didn't really hold up um, to scrutiny very well, but the film is so well made and so well acted that uh, I still definitely recommend uh, uh, checking out um, uh, Long Legs. Uh, you, won't, you won't be disappointed. Uh, even if you are disappointed, I think I still think you'll see, you'll find a lot of things to enjoy in the film. Number three is Exuma from uh, South Korea. A, uh, creepy horror, atmospheric horror from um, uh, Korea that uh, it's about uh, a team of um, um, who a team of uh, um, paranormal supernatural um, um, people who it's their job to bury the um, uh, love find somewhere to bury um, um, people and they have to find somewhere to bury them where um, it's safe and, and there's no spiritual demons and uh, and in the film um, they are tasked with uh, burying the father of uh, uh, a family, a rich family but um, uh, they have difficulty finding somewhere to bury him and they and they end up burying him in, in this very ancient um, taboo um, um, burial ground and, and then um, and bad things happen and, and it's better to go into the film unknown but uh, it's it's very interesting how it delves into South Korean uh, mythology, mythology and spiritual, spirit, spirituality and uh, it's very creepy and well made and the performances are fantastic so I definitely recommend checking out uh, Exuma from uh, South Korea. Number two is Abigail. Uh, Abigail was uh, a film that uh, was released earlier in the year and it, it was a perfect blend of uh, uh, 
comedy and and uh, horror. It's not very scary. It's not really supposed to shock you, but uh, the and the the central monster Abigail. She's a uh, sort of likable. She's probably more likable than the the protagonist. So it's a group of um, uh, robbers who a group of they are uh, tasked with kidnapping uh, this uh, little girl to get a ransom from um, um, her father, her rich father. And uh, it turns out that uh, Abigail is actually a, a vampire and uh, and they have to deal with uh, Abigail. She uh, she ends up, um, I, won't, I won't spoil what happens if you haven't seen it yet, but uh, uh, it's very funny, very gory, especially towards the end. There's a few twists here and there. You can't really, you don't really know which characters to trust and it doesn't take it too, take itself too seriously. And uh, to be honest, I wouldn't mind if this starts a new franchise. Uh, if there's Abigail 2, Abigail 4, and Abigail 3, I, I definitely would check out, recommend uh, checking out uh, Abigail. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Number one, my number one horror movie of 2024 so far is Hand Lean the Undead. Okay, uh, from this film is from Norway and it's not really a traditional horror movie it's more of a very slow burn um, thinking psychological uh, zombie movie from uh, Norway it's very similar to um, the, the Let the Right One In from Sweden um, from I think it's 2008 it's that kind of movie it, um, it creeps up on you it's not a film for everybody it is debuted at um, at Sundance uh, in January to very mixed reviews and mixed response, and but if you if you can get on the film's wavelength, you're really gonna love it. Um, it's one of my favorite movies from Sundance, and um, it's definitely my favorite movie of uh, favorite horror movie of 2024 by far. It creeps up on you. It's about um, um, a very hot day, very hot season in Norway. Uh, the um, slowly, um, a few families, their loved ones have uh, passed away and then slowly they come back to life. And the film deals with this, not in a scary way, but in a very like matter-of-fact way. It's like, okay, what happens if my mother or my wife or my sister or my brother passes away and, and then suddenly he's just, next day he's, he's, back, he's back again. And... and Instead of dealing with it in a creepy horror way, it just deals with it in a very humane way. But it's still creepy in the same way because the these when they come back to life, they are not normal. They do things that are um, uh, that are unpredictable, and you, you never know what's going to happen. And it's another one of those movies you kind of have to go in fresh, and you have to be very patient because uh, it's very slow burn, very um, very slow. And but uh, if you stick with the film, and you are on the film's wavelength, and you can get into the film, it's very rewarding, and it makes you think, and it's very affecting. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend uh, checking out Handling the Un the Dead. Okay, some honourable mentions of films that I have not seen yet, uh, that uh, I just haven't had a, haven't had a chance to see, or they've debuted at. Uh, festivals uh, earlier in the year that uh, haven't been released yet. At Sundance there was a few uh, um, films at Sundance that haven't been released yet uh, like um, like Your Monster and it's What's Inside and the uh, Steven Soderbergh film um, uh, The Presence uh, there's a few films from uh, Sundance that um, had a lot of buzz and that I haven't seen yet, uh, um, so hopefully they will be out soon. Another few other festival films uh, haven't come out yet are um, uh, Kaku, so they, these films are actually screening at uh, Fantasia at the moment. Uh, Kaku, um, Kaku Od Oddity, and what else? Oddity and that's about it. 
I'll definitely, I'll, I'll definitely get around to watching Oddity um, probably later this week and uh, or next week. Uh, and also, uh, Asriel. Asriel is uh, um, screening um, at uh, at uh, Fantasia at the moment. So I'll get around to watching Asriel and uh, Oddity and I'll post my reviews uh, later in the week or next week. So I'll stick around for that. And, um, and later this year, we've still got uh, the new Alien uh, movie. The new M Night Shyamalan movie, uh, The Trap, and uh, Smile Two, so um, and uh, Night Bitch, and uh, the remake of um, uh, Speak No Evil, and uh, a remake of Seven's Lot. So uh, there's definitely a few more horror movies to look forward to, but um, that's my uh, top uh, five horror movies of. Uh, 2024 please uh leave some comments uh what were your favorite uh horror movies of uh, 2024 so far leave some comments below and uh, uh i'll be happy to hear your suggestions maybe now maybe there will be a few uh, suggestions that i haven't uh that i haven't seen yet and then if i if you if i get any strong recommendations i'll, I'll, I'll post my review thanks for watching bye, -bye.